Today I have an E-Wheel 48 volt mobility scooter and this scooter runs on a 48 volt lead acid battery pack so it has four 12 volt lead acid batteries connected in series and it is swollen up pretty bad does not hold the charge anymore so today I'm gonna go ahead and replace the lead acid battery with my two 24 volt power tool batteries is it gonna work? let's find out but first let me give you a quick tour around this scooter this is one of the most expensive mobility scooter on the market it has all the bells and whistles just like a small car and it costs a whopping three thousand dollars it has a front headlight left and right turn signal front brake front suspension hydraulic rear brake horn speedometer field gauge speed control high and low beam headlight forward and reverse twist throttle control rear disc brake rear brake light inside the engine compartment you got rear suspension 48 volt brushless DC motor and most importantly rear axle with differential the whole electrical system on this scooter runs on 48 volts all of the light bulbs they are incandescent light bulb and it runs on 48 volts and even the horn is 48 volts let me show you one funny thing about this scooter let's take a look at this speedometer maximum speed 45 miles per hour this scooter is made for disabled people mostly and therefore I don't see the reason why you have to drive at 45 miles per hour I've done some mods to the scooter and let me show you some changes I made to the scooter I have removed the seat this thing is heavy and I don't need this seat anymore so I put in a plywood and this is gonna be my seat and I can easily open it up and put my batteries inside here I install a door hinge on here so that I can open and close this piece of plywood so I can get access to the inside the original speedometer is not accurate at all therefore I have to install my own speedometer all of the original incandescent light bulbs on this scooter they are all burnt out not surprisingly because they run on 48 volts and therefore I'm gonna replace the whole electrical system with just a 12 volt system and here's my 12 volt lithium ion battery made from 6 Tesla Model 3 2170 cells it is 3S 2P I also install a 12 volt car horn for my Corolla let's try out the horn it's very loud the front headlight has been replaced with a 12 volt LED landscaping light let's try and turn it on at night is very bright and here are the two cobalt 24 volt power tool battery I'm going to use for the scooter these are the adapter made from EVA foam I made earlier I'll put a link in the description and this whole contraption will allow me to go from two individual power tool battery into a 48 volt output to this connector here here it is inside the battery compartment and I have it all connected together the batteries take a lot less space and it is a lot lighter than the original lead acid batteries you see over there all right moment of truth let's turn it on now let's turn on the ignition there we go full battery oh yep it's going here we go that's maximum speed so it's about 23 miles per hour on the original odometer but uh, on mine it's only 11 and a half miles per hour so this speedometer is really way off
there is a clicking noise you can hear while I was testing the scooter I believe it comes from the rear differential so there is definitely something wrong with the gears inside its differential and that's something I have to repair later I want to see if it can go faster with a better battery so I have an Eagle 56 volt power 2 battery and right now the battery is uh, at full charge and it's at exactly 58 volts the original lead acid battery pack has four 12 volt lead acid battery and at full charge each one is about 14 and a half volts do your math 14 and a half times 4 that's also exactly 58 volts but I've got to say you shouldn't try this at home for two reasons number one it might damage your controller number two it's dangerous so here on the back of the battery I got two aluminum brackets connected to the terminal of the battery so that I can use this to hook it up to the controller I've got it connected to my controller now is a moment of truth let's turn it on there we go it turns on now let's try turn on the key there we go key is on battery shows full alright here we go Yeah, it accelerates a lot faster. We're at 13 and a half miles per hour. 13.7 So as you can see it runs just fine with the Eagle 56 volt power tool battery and in fact it actually runs better than the 48 volt battery I uh, installed earlier so there you have it how to upgrade your mobility scooter with a lithium ion power tool battery this way you don't have to worry about range anymore because if one battery runs out you can just replace with a new one and keep on going this is very important as a mobility scooter because if you can't walk running out of battery on this scooter is not an option the lithium ion battery is also lighter and it's also removable so the scooter can be easily loaded onto a vehicle by one person my plan for this vehicle is to turn it into an EV and this scooter is perfect to turn into an EV I just need it to run a little bit faster and I have my 72 volt controller here and uh, with my cobalt 80 volt battery and that will for sure make it go faster I also have a flexible solar panel here and uh, it's very light I'm gonna use that to make the roof over this EV and uh, it will charge the battery on the go but that's gonna be my next project until then thanks for watching and I will see you next time